to the channel. Today we're working on the air compressor and it's not holding air. What's happening on this air compressor is it's leaking air back behind the regulator. And the reason that is is because the O-ring is bad and this needs replaced. So if you have an inch and eighth socket, you just take this red plastic piece off and get your socket behind that and loosen it and take this part off. If you don't have that, you're going to have to drop out the two screws here, loosen that up, and get inside here to get your clearance. And if you have a socket, or I'm sorry, a wrench of that size, or pump pliers, or vice grips, you'll need to unthread that. Unfortunately, there's not enough clearance in here to really get a good grip on it. So to make things easier, we're going to remove these two bolts, and there's two on the other side. We'll be able to move the motor back and pull the whole assembly out and that'll make things easier to work on. All right, now that the motor's moved back, pulled the piece out, you can go ahead and loosen this up and we'll take the whole, the whole uh, regulator out. Now this part here I really wanted to show you, and I should have mentioned it before, but this is spring-loaded. If you pull this off, you're gonna have a spring, you're gonna have this little piece, and the black part on the top. Well. What happens is, when you put it back together, this divot part has to go down first. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. But then the spring goes over it, and the tip goes up. Now, if this screw is, put, is turned in like that, it's really difficult to tighten this back on. So it's a lot easier to unthread this and then assemble it that way. So if, if you take this off and it pops off and the pieces come flying out, just remember to back the screw out, then the metal piece. The divot goes down, so this sticks up like that. Then your spring, and then this black part here with the tip facing up. Of course, with your new O-ring. This is the old one. You can see the edge here, how it's chewed up, and that's where the air was escaping. So we'll just put the new one on, tighten it up, and it should hold air. Now that I've tightened that back up, I can thread that screw back into where it needs to be. And before I put everything back together, I'm going to hook it up and let it fill up with air and make sure that it's fixed before going through and doing taking that all off again. So I'm going to kick it on here, but I'm going to pause it just so Whatever device you're listening on doesn't go really loud, really obnoxious sound. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on, then I'm going to show you guys how it's holding pressure. Okay, so as you can see, it pumped up, it's holding pressure. I don't hear any air escaping. If you do, that's the easiest way to hear it, is just to listen. Uh, but if you had like water, you could spray it around to see if you see any bubbles. But it's holding, so the O-ring was bad. Now, to put it back together, Simple, you just move the motor around, put that back into position, put down your four mounting bolts, and then your two screws to go here. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and you picked up some tips, and this fixes your problem. Thanks for watching.